Belize Creole, or just Creole as native speakers call it, is a variety of English-based Creole spoken in Belize, a relatively small country located on the east coast of Central America. In Belize today, Creole is the most common native language. It is generally spoken in most professional and familial environments. Education, however, is conducted entirely in English, and English is the language used in most highly formal situations. Belize Creole is estimated to have approximately 170,000 active speakers. In this video, we're going to look at three key grammatical features that differentiate Belize Creole from that of standard English. Before we get into Belize Creole's grammar, we should first talk about what a Creole language agent is. A Creole is a language that is developed due to high levels of intense contact between members of different language-speaking communities. Certain situations such as trade or slavery create environments where communication is needed, but language barrier gets in the way. When communication is essential, but speech is mutually unintelligible, it's common for speakers to develop a form of speech that is not entirely grammatically developed, called the pidgin language. Creole languages can often be thought of as the end result of a pidgin language if that pidgin language persists for more than a single generation. A defining feature of a pidgin language is that, while speakers use them quite often, they're nobody in native language. When children of people speaking the pidgin language are born, most of the time they will hear the pidgin language or the super straight language much more often than they will hear their parents' native languages. Children have an amazing ability to create languages, and when they're not given any fully developed languages, children are able to assign grammatical constraints and conventionalize the grammar in a systematic way that no fully grown adult could do. This process is called naturalization and creolization. The first grammatical feature that we can discuss is tense. Standard English differentiates between past and non-past tense. Creole does not actually have a past tense like standard English does. What Creole does have is a pre-verbal marker, me, which functions as an interior past marker. The interior past marker indicates that an event or action has taken place prior to a time emphasized in the discourse. Usage of copula in Creole differs from standard English. In standard English, we use the copula be, which is inflected for person, number, and tense. In Creole, however, the copula is not inflected for person, number, or tense. There is also a separate copula that is used for locative markings. When a speaker wishes to express the location of some entity in a sentence, they will not use the regular copula da. They will instead change the copula to de to indicate that it is expressing location. For example, the standard English, there is a nicer one here, can be expressed in Creole as one nicer one de e, which we can break down as one nicer one is here. Notice how the copula here changes form to indicate that it's expressing a location. Finally, the last grammatical feature that we're going to look at in Creole is possession. In standard English, we use inflection to indicate possession. Creole, on the other hand, has a different way of indicating possession that is much more common. Another way of marking possession in Creole is with the possessive marker C. The possessive marker B will follow the noun that is being possessed and it precedes the noun that is doing the possessing. C is derived from the English word for and can play a similar role in Creole. As such, the sentence horse for the man can be literally translated as horse for the man. It's important to recognize varieties such as Belize Creole and the ways that they differ from standard English. Creole such as Belize Creole shows that the correct way of speaking is a very arbitrary notion, and we should appreciate all forms of English and other languages equally. As of today, Creole is not considered an endangered language and is thriving well within Belize. However, standard English is the official language in Belize, and thus Creole is seldom used in prestigious social environments. There is no standard orthography either. I hope this video has interested everyone to learn more about different forms and varieties of English and other languages as well.